These two matrices are inverses of each other, which we can see since multiplying them in either direction gives the identity matrix. A reasonable question to ask then is, is the matrix on the right the inverse of the matrix on the left? And vice versa, is the matrix on the left the inverse of the matrix on the right? Or can we only say that it's a inverse of the matrix on the right. In other words, are inverses of invertible matrices unique? Not every matrix is invertible, but if it is invertible, is its inverse unique? As it turns out, yes, and we will prove that today. The proof is really easy, so let's not delay. If B and C are both inverses of the matrix A, then B must equal C. There can't be two different inverse matrices of A. The inverse is unique, so B must equal C. Let's get into the proof. We begin by noting that B times A must equal the identity matrix, since B is the inverse of A. Then we could multiply both sides of this equation by C on the right, giving us that B A C is equal to the identity times C, since B A is the identity, and the identity times C, of course, is just C. So we see that B A C equals C. But remember, matrix multiplication is associative. So in this equation, we multiplied B times A and then multiplied that by C, but we could have done it the other way as well. We could say, well, B times A times C is the same as B times a times C, since matrix multiplication is commutative. But we assumed that C was also an inverse of the matrix A. Well then, AC is the identity. And so B times AC is B times the identity, which is B. So in the first equation, we showed that BAC equals C, but in the second equation, by using associativity, we found that BAC is equal to B. And thus, since the equals relation is transitive, it must be the case that matrix B is equal to C. Thus, we've demonstrated that inverse matrices are unique. If you have two matrices that are the inverse of a matrix A, those two matrices must be the same. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my linear algebra playlist for more. Link in the description.